we are now going to look at aqueous solutions of compounds. When a covalent compound, such as sucrose here, dissolves in water, the compound remains the same. Nothing happens to um, most covalent compounds as they dissolve in water. There are a few that will react with water to form a new compound. We're not looking at those right at the moment. So covalent compounds just dissolve in water. They go from the solid to the aqueous form. For ionic compounds, as they dissolve in water, they will form the cation and anion. They dissociate from these ions. So if we dissolve calcium chloride in water, we're going to form one calcium ion and two chloride ions. And later on, near the end of the semester, we'll be looking at the total number of ions in solutions for what are called colligative properties. If we dissolve copper two nitrate in solution, we'll form copper two plus ion and two nitrate ions. So we have to know how these ion compounds will dissociate in water. But we also need to be able to identify the concentration of the individual ions, the copper ion and the nitrate ion, calcium ion and the chloride ion. We'll be using these individual ions for other types of problems in the future. So if we have a 0.3 molar copper nitrate, copper two nitrate solution, uh, so aqueous showing that it's in water. This is the concentration of the whole compound in water. This is the concentration of copper two plus ion. We take concentration of ion of the compound, multiply by the ratio of copper two plus to the copper two nitrate. In this case, it's a one to one ratio. There's one copper in that copper nitrate. So we end up with a 0.3 molarity. Uh, the copper two plus ion. How about the concentration of the nitrate? So we start off with the concentration of the compound from three molarity. We multiply by the ratio now, there'll be two nitrates in one copper two nitrate. So the ratio is two to one. So we end up with a 0 0.60 molarity of the nitrate. Another version of this. Uh, we have the 0.3 molarity of the copper two nitrate. We have 250 mLs. We could ask how many moles of either one of these ions, or in this case, how many nitrate ions are present. So we take our volume and turn it into liters, because this molarity is moles per liter. So we need liters to cancel off the, uh, the liters in molarity to leave us with our moles. So 250 mLs is 0 0.250 liters times the 0.3 molarity. Now give us moles of the copper two nitrate. We're looking for the nitrate. So you multiply the ratio of two nitrates in one compound. Now give us moles of the nitrate. In this case, we're asking for how many ions. So you multiply by Avogadro's number. And we'll end up with our nitrate per well, the moles will cancel off and we'll just end up with the number of nitrate ions. So in this case, we end up with the nine times 10 to the 22 nitrate ions in solution. 